Hi all, welcome back for another video. I'm currently very, very busy with university research stuff as well as the writing of another novel because it is November. So I am part of the National Novel Writing Month. I set myself quite a low uh, word count goal, but those 1500 words still gotta be written this month. So yeah, I'm very um, focused on that at the minute and at the same time also obviously trying to upload some new content for you all. So um, yeah, today I went to the gym in the morning and that sort of reminded me back of the time that I had so many little rituals around um, always going to the gym at a certain time or eating at certain specific times eating certain foods and not being able to deviate from these patterns and these routines that I had set up for myself. So today I thought it was time to share with you my strange eating habits from the past. I hope you're excited about this. Um, I am, although also a little bit scared. Um, do also let me know your strange habits in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe and to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button. And let's get going. The first one of my habits is one that I actually picked up on back when I was in hospital. I realized that everyone ate really, really slowly and I couldn't quite figure out, but I thought, you know, if everyone is eating really slowly, I should too. So back when I was in hospital, I started to eat really slowly and it was actually quite nice because if I ate with my family and they ate regular portions, I could eat really slowly and still sort of finish at the same time that they finished their meals. Um, but obviously I realized now that was just very disordered behavior. I didn't even know why I was doing it. It was totally irrational and it was actually really quite difficult to overcome. It's something that I only really tackled back in 2015 when in hospital when there were set times in which we had to finish our meals and if we didn't finish them that was just calories we did not take in and we would be held responsible when our weights went down. So that's when I learned to eat more quickly and yeah, now my eating tempo, I guess, is up to speed with most of my friends, faster than some of my friends and yeah, if I'm in a rush, I can actually eat faster. If I've got the time to enjoy my food, I can do that and chat with other people at the same time. So. Yeah, it's really nice to say that that's no longer a problem. My second strange habit sort of links with this and um, it concerns eating bread and croissants. In order to sort of keep my very slow eating pace, I would sort of pull them apart into tiny pieces and then eat the tiny pieces rather than just eating a sandwich like that. And um, yeah, I remember one time when I was having a croissant and I was with one of my friends and I felt just really in the spotlight and yet I could not do it. So I had to pull apart that croissant piece by piece, knowing full well that she probably thought I was a complete weirdo. On to the next strange eating habit. Um, when I was in hospital, um, that was probably sort of my deepest point um, back in Hungary when I didn't even really want to recover yet. So back at this point, I obviously restricted my intake, but I was also really taken by many other irrational fears. One of these was body lotion. So I would 
never use any body lotion because I was actually scared that it was gonna seep into my pores and somehow make me gain weight and I realize now and I I'm sure I realized then that that is just completely irrational because you can only gain weight by what you actually put into your mouth but it's something that just used to really scare me and for that reason I didn't use any body lotion during the worst of my eating disorder. However, my eating disorder habits also sort of changed as time went by, uh, whereas at the start I wanted to lose weight and therefore left as many crumbs as I could on my plate without it being too obvious. After a while I just couldn't leave anything on my plate anymore and I think that's something I still um, I guess struggle with now um, just not being able to leave anything on my plate because I cannot stand food waste and even just a few crumbs would um, sort of really trigger me uh, not anymore now but um, I guess basically really because of how environmentally focused I am I would still eat everything that's put in front of me and that could still be to the point of making me feel uncomfortable but at least I'll know that I have not contributed to wasting any food. And this is also the case in restaurants so if I get a meal that's actually too big for me to eat I will still eat it and that can be a bit uncomfortable but yeah I guess that's something I have to deal with still. The last eating habit is probably the weirdest one because um, this was actually during my recovery and I was doing quite well but again relating back to that no food waste policy inside my head I was just not able to see anything go to waste so if other people were going to throw anything out I'd sort of offer to eat it or um yeah and I don't really like admitting this one but if people would throw out um overripe bananas for example I would actually pick them back out of the trash which is pretty gross I mean obviously it has the peel so you take the skin off and you eat the banana and you know it's not been infected by any strange germs but it's still picking something out of the bin that has been put there to be thrown out and it's obviously still sort of a disordered behavior so yeah that's probably one of the ones that I struggled with for quite a while and um, yeah in the same vein I was never really able to buy very expensive foods for myself because I felt like I didn't really deserve to pay that much for food and that's probably one I still struggle with a little bit now so yeah I realize this is a bit of an informal chat and these are just sort of the strange food habits that I can think of at the top of my head but if you recognize any of these same habits for yourself then let me know in the description or if you have any other habits that you've been struggling with let me know as well I'll let you know if it's something that was also a part of my recovery. As I said before, be sure to give it a thumbs up to subscribe and hopefully next week I will have my act together and be back here for you all with a proper video. See you later.